variables. Well, what is a variable? A variable is basically just somewhere where we hold data. So, for example, we might have a variable and we might call it name. And the object of that variable would be to store the name of a person or the name of something within our program. So a variable can contain data. Now, there are many different types of variables. And all we're going to look at firstly is the string variable. And we're going to just try and go over the concept. So we need to be able to declare a variable. So what we're going to do is, in the main procedure here, static void main, we're going to just type in the word string and it goes blue and then after that I'm going to call it my name now just a point of interest C sharp is a very cap sensitive language you'll notice that my name capital N capital capital M capital N console capital C write capital W without the caps in the right places it won't work so you must remember about the cap sensitive language so what we have here as I was saying is we have string my name now currently my name holds no information so what we're going to do is we're going to sell, do this my name equals riddler like so so what I've done is I've got my name equals speech mark Typed in my name, typed in my name, and speech marks semicolon on the end. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to modify this to output this on the screen. Now let's say we were to type in my name here. Now, as you've noticed, we've got a speech mark on either side of my name. And what will happen when I run this is, it will just output, as you can see, my name on screen, the actual text, my name, because the speech mark means right as you see. So basically, whatever we enter in there, as it appears when we enter it, is how it will appear on screen. However, to be able to write out the information contained within the variable my name, we need to get rid of the speech marks. So when it comes to this line write, and we have my name, it will look for any variables that is called my name. And as you can see, it has one. And then it looks at the data which is inside my name, which as we can see is Riddler, and it will output that on the screen. And as you can see, it says Riddler. Right. So that is how we have defined our variable. And we, we define it here, saying it string and then my name. And then here we have made my name equal Riddler. I could further down do my name equals Matt. And what would happen here, although we set my name to Riddler, immediately we set my name to Matt so when we write out my name it will contain the data Matt <coughs> with in most instances in C sharp you can actually not only can you de define the variable you can actually initialize it or give it data immediately so to do this we could do string my name and then we just do equals Riddler like that and then of course the semicolon on the end and then when we run, we have the same thing. It says Riddler. So there we have created the variable. We've defined our variable string, uh, our variable my name, and it is of type string. And we have already set it equal to Riddler, i.e. the data Riddler. And that is the very basics of a variable. So just a quick recap. A variable is just something that stores data. Uh, it's the most basic term. It, it kind of just points to an area in memory where the data is. And that is it for this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to look at other types of variable types.